What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be opening up a full booster box of Lost Origins. We're gonna be doing this a little bit different though. Just wait and see. We've got all of the cards pulled out of the packs, all code cards removed, and all cards were removed face down. I have no clue what's in these. Uh, so we're gonna get straight into it and we're just gonna go a lot quicker than we normally would go. Cause you know, booster boxes, they tend to take a really long time to get through guys it's a lot of cards it really is and it's a lot of openings and your time is valuable so we're gonna roll it and we're gonna roll it quick mind foo zorak v v star card i don't know if you guys have paid attention there's been a lot of talk on reddit a lot of people have opened up a very large amount of lost origins and guys the pull rate on alt arts it is low so Danny Phantom, you can check out his channel. He put all this out. He opened up 80 booster boxes, and I think he pulled two of all the alt arts except one, and that one he didn't pull any. So two Giratinas, and then I can't think of the, the one he didn't pull off the top of my head. There was another Redditor that opened up. He was on par to open up 60. I guess they always open up 60. And they stopped at 38 because they hadn't pulled any any alt arts at a 38 so that i mean it's oh, those are upside upside down it's absolutely crazy look how bad that cut is what is i guess maybe i messed up when i placed the cards down i don't know that's that's kind of weird anyways but I, I mean i just can't imagine opening that much they said they stopped just because it was so it just became so disheartening i mean you gotta think that's ooh, radiant sneezler we've pulled a couple of you it is pretty, it's the energies. How bizarre. So we got two of these energies. So it, hey, we're gonna also see things that are gonna be a little bit different uh, to your eyes just because we're moving at a different pace. You know, there's no stopping for packs. We're just rolling. But I don't know, you know, a lot of people complain about, you know, pull rates. I'm gonna tell you my opinion on these alt art pull rates. Is it disheartening? Um, move that light a little bit that you don't pull them yeah it is it really is guys but at the same time oh there we go i've not pulled Bennett yet beautiful card cards should be hard to pull there should there really should it shouldn't be you know given out so like if you look at shining fates if you look at champion's path the charizard drop rate was way too high in my opinion it was absolutely way too high and that's why those cards are 80 90 dollars so you can get all of those cards dirt cheap right now which you probably should load up on a couple of them. Um, do you guys want, you know, some high value cards? It's the energies. The energies are upside down. You guys want your cards to be more valuable and harder to pull, or do you want to pull them all? You know, I don't know. There's there's a trade off, guys. There really is. In my also opinion, we're gonna we're all about opinions today. Um, I think they need to. This is throw these energies, guys. These energies are throwing me off. I also think that they need to have a higher rarity than an old than a secret rare. Let's see. There's something shiny coming up, so I'm gonna pause. Snowbur, Rhyhorn, Misfortune. Ah, uh, just a Magma Zone V. I could see it at the top. You know, and I don't know if that needs to be serialized cards. You know, a lot of other card games have added serialized cards. I think a Charizard, serialized Charizard out of a hundred, out of a thousand, you know, something like that would be crazy dope, Slugma. But like I said, ooh, gear a ton of V. Ah, uh, yeah, I pulled this one. <laughs> These energies. Like I said though at the beginning of the video, guys, we are doing a, a full case break. I'm doing it in the style of shorts. You know, I'll only post basically anything above a V Max. So if you guys are into shorts, definitely follow guys and you'll see everything popped out of that case. So far, uh, this is my third booster box. I have not pulled an alt art yet. You know, a lot of people are also saying Zorak, they're getting their alt arts in the three pack blisters. Like a lot of people, it's not just one or two, it's, you can look on YouTube guys, uh, look at the videos and you'll see, a lot of people are pulling heat out of those. So maybe it was just a distribution error within the packs. Um, that has happened in sports. These energies, freaking energies. Uh, it has happened in sports where, you know, there was a hobby box that didn't get any of the hobby exclusives. They all got shotgunned. I can't remember what it was. 
My mind it wants to say like illusions or something, but I don't think that's right. Um, but yeah, they had all like the exclusives in there, and it was super weird. This is uh, this is an energy. I'll tell. I'm gonna. Yep, and it's upside down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I don't. I don't know how some stuff happens, but it just shows like there's issues. Like I said, these were. I literally op cut these open, um, and put them straight down, face down, and then I took out the the code cards just to get them out of the way. Just so you don't see green or reds or whatever. Spinarak. Ink. This ink kind of reminds me of the, the Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates version. So I did leave the cards in their order that they were in. So you can see I had two stacks. So all the stacks were left and right. Just because, you know, a lot of people believe a certain side of the box gets more stacked. You know, I don't I don't know if I would believe anything. I think Ooh, Arcanine. They're all kind of just tossed in there. But generally, for booster boxes, you get one to two secret rares. Um, and then, I don't remember how many. Might have been like four or five, maybe six. Ooh, I did pull this Gengar already. Love it. One of my favorite Gengar, um, one of my favorite Gengar artworks, guys. I think it's awesome. All right, so this is what we got for the right side. Pretty, pretty good little stack. Let's scoot you back and start working the left. Uh, I have so far I have averaged one at least one secret rare per booster box. I did have one that had two secret rares in it. It was one was a, a hyper lady and the other the one that was a back to back. It was a gold I don't I don't remember. It was, it was one of the gold cards. So it's pretty cool to get in those, you know, in the same booster box to have multiple secrets cuz before guys when we're talking like sun and moon era or era it was you'd get one secret rare and you get like seven or eight GXs. And it was those were hard booster boxes. Aerodactyl V Star. I've not pulled this beauty yet. That's a ball in one. Not the Aerodactyl we're looking for. But we'll take Aerodactyls anyways. Gumi. Mawile. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this format for opening up booster boxes. Cause it really you know, booster boxes is a, is a long it is a long opening when you you know you're opening packs so i'm trying to trying to speed it up but still keep it fun okay scarlet phalanx eternatus v what a balling card add that to my new pool list sligu riley paris Ink again. Dust ducks. Well, at least we're out of the range for these energies. I haven't seen any more of these wacky upside down energies. Gardevoir and a Delphix V. Love the Gardevoir. I thought we were on a C at the end. I wouldn't have skipped like that. I thought it was a. We already passed the rare for that one. All right. Dugong. Still no secret yet, though. So far, I've absolutely loved opening up Lost Origins Oddish. I think it's a it's an absolute blast set. I think it's I do think it's going to be better than the next uh, the next set, the Tempest. It was a Silver Tempest. Um, I, you know, I ordered some in Japanese, so we'll get that whenever whenever it comes in. Hopefully, in the next week, we'll have a video on that for you guys. Incandescent, incandescent something. I know that's the set, you know, they're always kind of a little bit backwards in their naming. But they also do a little, you know, a little bit more subsetting in Japanese. And then, you know, we kind of put all of them together, like two or three sets to make one set. And then also, like, you, you know, you've got Charizard in this set. And that was in, what, like two or three sets ago in Japanese. So they don't always line up. Same with they've had a, a Gold Fat Pikachu for a while. Meditate, Shellos, Mindfu, and a Wurmple. Come on, Secret Rare. You are eluding me, and we are down to the last portion of this booster box. Mirage, Cascoon, Ambipom, Bronzor, Snover, Jinx, Ooh, Gujar. I don't know if I pulled you. There's, I mean, this is a huge set, guys. 196 cards, not counting. There's 30 of the 
um, trainer gallery. So add that on there. Speaking of trainer gallery, we got another one coming up. Pikachu. There's the bad boy himself. Is it going to be a double banger? It's not, but we were just talking about this guy. Now, let's hope my last Charizard I pulled was awful. It was so bad. Ooh, this one's actually, it's got one little nick at the bottom. It's not worth grading uh, just because of that little whiteness, whitening you can see at the bottom, but it is an actual really solid Charizard. Hey, Charizard's a Charizard's a Charizard, guys. It will always do well. Porygon. So now we're rocking. We've got two, two Charizards knocked out. At least, gosh, you have to, you guys can go back and watch that video. I, I, it wasn't, was it the build in battle boxes? No, I think it was the one, the other one, the the little mini booster boxes, or whatever you want to call those, the booster bundles. That's the correct term. It was just the, the whole thing. Honestly, it was borderline medium played. It was so bad. All right, Shellos, bring us luck in this last fat stack of cards. Still need a secret, guys. We still need a secret rare. Box of Disaster. It's honestly, when you're holding this many cards, it's kind of kind of hard to pull them through. Spinarak, Inkay, Banette. Let's set these down. Let's do half. Lampet, Ambipom, Damage Pump, Wurmple. Murkrow, Horsey, Ooh. Elect Cross, and then you also have people that have pulled two alt arts from one booster box, which to me, also crazy. Like the fact that some people aren't getting any, and then some people are getting, you know, multiple in a booster box. Oddish. All right, guys, we're slowly approaching the end of this. We have a very small amount left. Wish us luck on pulling some heat to end this booster box phantom. Sudowoodoo, Electric, Luke, Gligar, and a Mew VMAX. What an end. Oh, and a Giratana V. What an ending, guys. This was a beautiful pack. I am 100%. God, I've wanted, I wanted this Mew so bad. And we finally got it. So now all I need is, ooh, it's got some print lines on it. Now all I need is the the fat Pikachu, and I'll be happy with all the golds. I think by then I've actually probably completed the golds and the Giratina V, not the one we want, not the alt art, but still that would have been a that would have been a banger. But hey, so we ended up with these three solids, and then let's do a quick recap. Gudra, Radiant Gardevoir. Delphix, Eternatus V, Aerodactyl V Star, Giratana again, Magnazone, Gengar, Banet, another Radiant. So let's do this. So we got V Star, V, V Star. Let's just do a quick count. So you guys in the back that skip to the end of this video, V, Secret Rare Trainer. So we got one secret, we got three trainer galleries, two radiants, four Vs, and sorry, no, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that many. So here's total hits. Guys, this is a lot. This is a lot of hits for, excuse me, a modern booster box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen hits is pretty good compared to some of the booster boxes in the past. But hey, let me know what you guys think of this format. If you want to see more Lost Origin, it's going to be loaded up on shorts. We're going to be racking and stacking on that. Come check us out. Come check out the hits. But hey, good luck out there.